Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use side chaining in Cakewalk to help your vocals stand out in the mix. So here I have a music track and a voice track. And you can hear the vocals are not very clear because the music is using the same sound frequencies. This is a tutorial on sidechain for vocals. Now, one way to deal with this in Cakewalk is to use sidechaining which basically means the volume of the music is automatically lowered when there are vocals. And we do this with a compressor. So first, click on the plus icon in the FX section of the music track header. Now move the mouse cursor over Insert Audio Effects. Then move the mouse cursor over Dynamics. And then click on Sonatus Compressor. Now to make this easier, name your music track Music. Now, click on the vocal track header. Then click on the plus icon in the send section of the vocal tracks channel strip. Then click on Sonatus Effects, Compressor Side Input, Dash Music. and then click on the post icon so it is greyed out. This will mean changing the volume level of the vocal track won't affect the side chaining. Now when you play your song, notice the input level in the compressor is from the vocal track instead of the music track, but currently it doesn't change the music volume. is a tutorial on sidechain for vocals. To get the vocals to reduce the music volume, we need to set the compressor curve. So click on presets. Move the mouse cursor over music and click on complete mix. Now, when you click on play, a green line should appear on the gain reduction meter. This shows how much the music track is being reduced by when the vocals are heard. This is a tutorial on sidechain for vocals. To increase the amount of volume reduction on the music track, drag the input volume meter fader knob down the screen. This is a tutorial on side chaining for vocals. This is a tutorial on side chaining for vocals. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.